right, we're back at Visalia for another F5J contest. End of March 2023. And as you all probably know, well, actually, maybe you don't know, but it's been raining like crazy. In Southern California. And, uh... We have a lot of water traps all around the field. We have one here, and then on the other side of that berm, and then that green grass area is the landing area, and there's more water down there. So, don't want to get your plane wet this weekend, that's for sure. Pretty chilly right now. Probably high 30s Fahrenheit. Um, should warm up to maybe mid 50s, high 50s, and hopefully the wind will stay down. And hopefully it'll be, it'll be a good contest. So I'll try to film some of the rounds for you guys between my flying and uh, timing duties. Here's the riffraff. I don't know who invites these guys. At least the dog's nice. It's the landing area. This is like the timing and scoring structure. Tables and chairs under there. Some models. See what happens. Yeah. Right, we're in round one, group four. The wind's coming up slightly and it's still pretty frigid. Most people are making times launching to near 200 meters. Uh, so, yeah, my hands are shaking actually. But over here, the farmers are burning something and I actually was able to park over here at about 150 meters and make my time so seems to be the spot for now I suspect all these guys are gonna launch high try to follow Junior here He's gonna go high for at least 150. Let's see what happens. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone's for hero status. I don't think this is going to work out. I don't know what's, what's going on here. Yep. Probably has a problem with this plane or the motor shut off accidentally. That is. Everybody's high. All the way on the back wall, Jim. All the way on the refrigerators, all the way on the back wall. I don't think we're going to see any exciting thermal action here. Ooh, it's cold. Definitely shaking. Here's the water on the other side of the landing area. 
it's foliage, foliage, no not foliage, fowl, ducks. And you can see the, um, the water curves around that way and runs that way. And it's the landing area there. 115 left in this flight. And let's uh, go back to Junior here. This should be this V tail. You got the freaking nose right on the pin. Don't get much better than that. All right, we're in round two now, group two. Feel like it's got colder. After I film this launch, I'm gonna put my third jacket on and a thick beanie. And everyone is still going high. Got some clouds. Pretty much complete cloud coverage. Broken sky upwind. I suspect everyone will still go high. I might follow a skip here. the bat. <sighs> so everybody should be off. He's probably well above 150. Well, I'm gonna go put my warm jackets on. Try to get the landings. They're not making their time. Two thirty. Get a photo with me. Some PKs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is everyone down already? Oh, there's a couple guys over here. They're about to be. Two fifteen. Two minutes.
Um, John Snyder standing in the ditch and he's looking up still. He's way high. Though. Is he? Is everyone else going to be down now? Down. Oh, sorry, we're gonna be Snyder's a killer, dude. 115. Yeah, everyone. No, no, no. Who's this guy? He's still in the air. There's some, someone standing right here. Oh. One minute. Oh, yeah, he's right here. 55. <coughs> 35. Seems like a really tough round, and I gotta fly next. Three, group four. And the day is developing and there's some thermals happening. Launch heights have started coming down. 30 seconds before working window at round three, group four. Still fairly chilly. Got a plan. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. What a coffee grinder. Motor off. Fairly low. to have a menage a trois here. Oh no. Not a menage a trois. That would be three planes. Closer in here, fairly low. Eight minutes. Happy dog.
<laughs> What's he doing? Three minutes left. One Butler here. Thirty-five. Is that you, Darwin? No. Thirty. Twenty-nine. Twenty-eight. Twenty-seven. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-four. Twenty-three. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Maybe a 45. Watch the van, Ed. Couple more turns, Ed. Why did he go out of that? They, they want to flatten out the turn to get to his position. They can't, like, just extend the circle. They got to flatten out the whole wing. I never understood that. Chance. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> See, now he out Quitter! Quitter! Six minutes. Circle! That was a good stall, Ed. <laughs> Quitter! Oh my god. Come on, right now. Five thirty. Didn't even get a fifty. Hey Ed, I got it all on video, don't worry. <laughs> Okay, we're in round six, group one. Conditions are pretty nice right now. 30 seconds before working window of round six, group one. A lot of low launches happening. Wind has died 20, down. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Ten minutes later, the window. Let's see. I'm going to get Junior here. Junior's been launching pretty low, so we'll see what he does. 9.30. Motor off. That might be a 45, 50 meter. Come on, 
camera. Nine minutes. zoom out so you can see how high they are oh. so got a late launcher on the edge of a building. It's not building as much as I would like it to. I don't know if Junior's going up anymore. I'm feeling a cold breeze too. This might be rough for these guys when you walk around here. <clears throat> there we go. Junior seems to have climb right. Seven minutes. Playing right over my head, real low. Oh, man. Let's see. I don't know who's flying this Volo. 6.30. Maybe Kent Nogi. He's a very good pilot. Six looks, minutes. <laughs> looks much higher through the camera, but he's still pretty low. Maybe 30 meters, maybe less. Let's see where Junior went, okay. Over here, definitely climbed significantly. Still looks very, very light. Light, light air, soft. He's in sync now. <clears throat> Seems to. I guess he has a plan to go somewhere. But he's burned up a lot of his altitude. And Kent is in trouble still. Five minutes. Okay, I don't know if that was. Well. I guess Junior knows what he's doing, but here's Kent. Let's see him right here, real low. It's not looking good. Lots of planes coming down. Four thirty. Four thirty left. So he's down, then we got guy right here. How high did you go? About to be down. 95. On the ground. High enough. Another guy here. Yeah, that's what I was telling. He was telling. He doesn't listen, right? He did 
before, but now he was <laughs> when, when I time for him, I, tell, I try to tell him. Four minutes. Junior's climbing out again. You make your own choices, yeah, yeah. But he, was about a and he might be the last one here pretty soon. The yeah, yeah. Then we got good old Ed landing early again. And one more plane here. And this will this will be it. Junior will be the last guy. It's gonna bury these guys. Junior's the last one in the air, dude. 330. And the difference there is Junior stuck with the thermal and followed it. Followed it downwind. Dale Thompson, Douglas McIntosh, John Armstrong, John Butler, Mark Browning, Tim Johnson, Juan Ellie. Maybe I should 2PK, Prestige, V-Tail. Three minutes. Last guy in the sky. 115. Hey, we'll take consolation. <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> get a flight. Okay. You're the only one still up. Right. One minute. 55. 50. 45 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Just had a midair. And I saw parts fluttering down. I think that I'll move the left side, the shorter than the right side. Which plane? It probably just broke the joiner. It's a, it's a penny, penny. No. It's, you see the cloud? Oh. Got it. Yeah, it, it the looks, left side looks shorter, right? Shorter than that. You mean, you mean the, the plane's right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, definitely. His, his plane is missing right. shorter. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's a wingtip. I can see it through the zoom. No wingtip? Yeah. Oh. Fuck. He's still going to make his time. It's a, I think it's a plus. It may be down, Damn, the wing tip may be down in the parking lot at, at Amazon. Well, no, I mean, I think, I don't know that. It's too far. I mean, I think it broke. I don't think it came off. I think it got severed. Well, I got 15 minutes till my flight or so. I, I saw something falling. Yeah, I saw, yeah, it falling. I saw the wing tip Far, far, yeah. Far yeah. yeah. Two thirds down the length of that building. So I might check what my schedule is. It looks like a plus X to me. It is. It's Tim. Does he have a four-piece wing? Yep. Oh. No, uh, three-piece. That's the tip. No, because I still see a bend. I still see one dihedral angle. Yeah. So there's two dihedral. There's two. Yeah, but the, the tip, the entire tip panel has two dihedral breaks, right? And the center panel's flat, right? Mm -hmm. So his wing was sheared. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's. Oh, they had a meteor. Yeah. Um, I wonder who the other person is. Three minutes. You were gonna post videos to the YouTube channel. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's gonna make his time. Oh no, not not kind of left. Yeah, dude. There's. I, his wing is broken. It's not. It didn't just fall off. He got sheared. Yeah. Cause it. Oh, that's more positive right there. Well, it'll probably turn really good one direction. <laughs> <laughs> Every time 
he's a boomer, he can do it. Oh yeah, he's gonna stay up the whole time, I think. There's like two something left. He's gotta keep flying the same plane, those are the rules. <laughs> no, we can we can nurse we can nudge the rules a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's just less controllable. <laughs> hey, uh, he's doing great with it. Hey, John. Two minutes. Straight pulse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> should I go and ask him right now? Yeah, right now. Hey, right when he lands. Know, hey, what you should do is you say, if I find a wing tip, I get, I get to keep the plane, right? Yeah. yeah. That's going to be a hard time. Well, this guy, Tim, he's going to make his time missing uh, about 30% of his wing. You have to call a reflight right away. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Under 50 40 seconds 40. left. There, there's a gap in the trees you can fly through. Right rudder, right rudder, right rudder. 
Okay. Don't make so much. Help me, guys. Watch out. Come on, do it. So you're this one. Oh, shit. Watch out. What are we doing over here, man? Stop. Stop. You're going to get this. I'm going to make you get it. I know. I know. I know. Six minutes. <laughs> All right, Sunday morning, first uh, round, which is round nine of the contest, and we're in group three. And it's uh, clear skies, a little breeze, maybe five to six miles an hour. Chilly, it's cold, but the sun helps. And people are just going high and floating. It's the name of the game. No thermal activity to speak of yet. Okay, motors are off. Let's zoom out. Oh yes, everyone is very, very high. So I don't have much much to show you. Um, if something happens during the middle of the flight, I will try to film it. We've got three three thirty left, and these guys are on the deck. Get ready for the next group. Kind of brutal. Nine group four. Carlos Acosta, Douglas McIntosh, Jerry Molnar, John Armstrong, John Snyder, Ken Knuckles, Lenny Kier. Uh, most people are low. Three minutes. Two minutes. 
minutes. It's much harder than when I flew. Go Jim! So Jim and who else? Oh, wait. Meng Chen. Oh, okay, I see him now. Do you see their plane? Oh, they, okay, they're over the trees here. They're yeah. But this round could be like the last round where the last guy on the ground didn't win because he went way over 200. I agree. So I agree. you got to see what the heights are. Actually, that might be good. Yeah, is that your strategy? Yeah. Don't crash. Somebody over here can't focus on it. Oh, yeah, Jim, Jim's got 50. Don't crash there. 35. 30. Yeah. Oh. Who's that? Oh, yeah, the wind's picking up. He's got to push you into the wind. Holy crap, he ain't even making it across the... You better watch the water. Yikes. Oh, man. Oh, no. He's under the berm there. I can see a shot. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Ming Chen. Oh, my gosh. I got to get one more round in. Nine, eight, seven. Okay, last five, group four, of round three, ten, or last two, round of one, group ten, or whatever you call it. Ten four. And. Yeah, it did. Re enter your score, Tuan. Yeah, re, re enter your score and save it. So, last flight, there was, there was some thermals developing. I had a freaking low save. I have heart. You know, ever since I had it's kind of what? spectacular. Huh? What? what? <laughs> I was These to guys all went there. high. I have a deaf girl in my class, and I do that to her all the time. So when they come down a little bit lower, I'll, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. Okay, uh, seems like everyone made their time except for one person. There's about one minute left in the round, so we'll fill in the landings. Again, this is uh, round 10, group 4, and everyone did launch high. I did see people thermaling. Trying to get a plane. 29, we go. Ming Chen. First time at F5J contest. I think he's having fun. I guess timing down a little better for landings, but hope to see him at 5J contest again. Think he's a good F3K pilot. And seems like a very nice guy. So there we go. That's round 10 done, and round 11 is going to start. Top two guys in this round. Junior Wilcox.
goes low. Shut off. It's pretty low. Let's see where Junior's at. Low too. I can't find the camera to focus. Right there, that's Junior. So they're both in the same area of the sky. I think Bob's low. Bob armed his motor. He's somewhere right, he's right there. He's a good pilot though. If he finds something, he'll make it work. Some hair raising stuff here. Looks like he's doing it. Yep. <laughs> he's doing it. Once again, the freaking master. He's still pretty far down there. Yeah, but he's gonna climb it out. Look at that. He's in good air right now. How's Junior? I can't see him. Uh, Junior's coming back. I think if that's Junior, the he's coming back through sink. What's his altitude compared to where Bob is? How's Junior's altitude compared to where Bob is? Uh, he's coming like closer to the, these trees, these big trees right here. But how high is Junior? Cause I can't... Uh, he's probably like 50 meters. Above Bob? No, like 50 meters high. Oh, he's wow. not high. Oh, okay. He's coming back in some, oh, I see some him. nasty air. I see him. Yeah, but he's oh, he's ahead of Bob, right? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Oh, he's in a little bit better air now. Oh, I got I got Junior. I got Junior here. This is Junior. This is this is like a flyoff round. Yeah. <laughs> this is low. Oh, he's still in great air. He Junior. Found it. Yeah. Now Junior's way ahead of Bob, right? Yep. He's yeah, right. Yeah, he's so, going over to the tree. So oh. I, I don't think he can go back downwind to look for something. Yeah, and he's wrapping. He, now that was a better, much better turn. Okay. He's I got, got, I got him on camera here. He's got it again now. How's Bob doing? Bob is still low. Really? Yeah. I thought he had it hooked up. Okay, I'm going to leave Junior. Where's Bob? Way out there. Kind of underneath Junior from your angle. Oh, yeah. I don't think I'll and be And he's in some... He's in some shit. Careful, Butler, you're on camera. Oh, <laughs> he's in some caca. I don't know if I'll be able to focus on him here. Oh, dude, he is, yeah. He is in pound town, dude. He's gonna do it, though. That's low, dude. Uh, he's gonna do it, but he's in positive right you there. You need great climb rate. He's in positive right there, and he's gonna do it. Look at, watch this. This is what he does, dude. It's kind of scary. Look at, he's already, look at that. Look I, at that wrap. I got him on camera here. I can't believe I can get him on camera for this. That is just, that is just Bob McGowan. The commentary. Commentary by uh, <laughs> Mr. Butler, Don Butler here. <laughs> oh my God, dude, he's a beast. Someone just said F. Who is that? <laughs> I don't know, man. It wasn't me. <laughs> no, down there on the flight line. 
Dan could barely tell what's going on here. This is McGowan. He's still, he's still in trouble. Yeah, he is. He should have kept his back. Where's Junior now? Junior's high now. He's fine. He's safe. Okay. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, Bob's got to get back from there. He needs extreme climb rate to make that work out. Oh, that was not the time. Somebody motored up, but yep. it wasn't Junior or Bob. Oh. Oh my god. He hooked up again? I, mm -hmm. I, I can see him. He's mm -hmm. starting to turn. He just hooked up. Oh my god, look at that climb rate. Wow. A master. He's got to go downwind. That's the problem. You need great climb rate. Dude, that climb rate? Oh, uh, totally Look at, he's him. literally going, like, his motor is on. Totally That is, him. like, stronger than, like, medium setting on your motor. Maybe it is on. Okay, he's somewhere on the screen. I know now that. he's going to have to there fight through this sink. He's not turning anymore. Mm -mm. He's coming back. He still had enough time to, to keep that thermal. Because that climb rate was like, that was golden. Oh, he's pretty, dude, he's pretty. No, he's okay. He's gonna come up on some good air. There he goes. Yeah, I'm almost filming this whole round, man. I never do that. Dude, that looks low to me through the camera, dude. He is dude. low. He is low, but he just got... I think he just got some good air. Right in there. Oh, shit. Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. I'm zoomed in a lot. Junior's still good, right? Don't lose your momentum, dude. That's not Oh, low. Junior's struggling, too, now. Oh, is he? Yeah, if it, home. If it... Bob motored up. Bob motored... Oh, that's junior, it. Oh, junior. junior. Oh, shit. Junior. Dude, Junior's. That's it, dude. That's it. Junior that's a motor. Up. Can, this per, can this person make it home? Hey, guess who's in first? Watch out for this person. He's coming in. With this Vito? That? That's oh, Armstrong. Oh, that's Armstrong. Look at Armstrong go. Dude, I just won, dude. The prelim, I think. I think you did. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, dude. Oh, shit. Watch out for Armstrong, though. He's, he's coming in slow and he just needs. He needs to get close. He needs to get close. Dude, he's gonna. Oh, oh, oh come on, Armstrong. He's gonna get 75 meters, man. I'm come sorry, on. dude. That was fun. I have nothing to lose. Watch him get his landing. <laughs> <I was laughs> wow, man. So after this, Darwin Barry is the only guy that's that's left. This little Bob got a zero. Wow, wow, what a round! That was crazy, town. Work, Tim. For you both. Yeah. Okay, for the flyoffs in tenth place with a score of Zippo <laughs> was me. Yeah! Okay, in ninth place was Eric Wilmunder with a score of 406. No, no, no trophy. No. In eighth place, uh, Twan Lee with a score 770. In seventh place was Ollie Connie with a score 1601. <laughs> Okay, in sixth place with Darwin Berry, scored 1933. All right, in fifth place, the first guy in the in the trophies with a score of 1968, John Butler. Oh, Rob Butler. Code Brown. All right. Code Brown. What? Isn't that an bathroom emergency? Isn't that a bathroom emergency? Okay, in fourth place with a score of 2676, you got, you must have got three flight times. Mark Browning. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Hey.
And Tim, Tim, thanks for all the work, man. Yeah. Thanks for all the work. I'm glad you're taking your picture. Get back.